Hey Fit Fam, and welcome back to Fit Tips 2018. We are at Fit Tip number 22. I'm gonna try and keep this one fairly short and simple, because I do want these to be easy, quick to implement tips to help you get further on your fitness journey faster. So, Fit Tip number 22 is eat enough protein. This seems like a really simple tip to me that most people know by now, but the more I work with people and have more clients, the more I realize Either it's not as common information as I think it is, or it's one of those things that we know but just don't do and need to be reminded of. Especially for women. Men seem to be a little bit more of kind of meat and protein eaters, although that is definitely not always the case. But you need to make sure that you're getting adequate protein in order to have good protein synthesis after your workout, to build those muscles, to repair from your workouts, and to help you stay full and lean. Protein is a very satiating nutrient, and so when you eat it, it's gonna help you stay full. So you might find that if you're currently eating a breakfast of cereal or oatmeal or something like that, if you were to switch and do eggs or to add some sort of protein to your breakfast, you'll probably stay fuller longer and won't have to snack so much in between meals. So, to get enough protein, what that means is there are a lot of different thoughts on this, people have different opinions, but generally a loose number is one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So again, some people will say that that is too much, um, so you can go lower than that, that's fine. That's generally kind of the area if you're really bodybuilding, if you're doing workouts, if you're working out with weights, that's kind of a good number. You don't need that much if you're not working out with weights, but if you're watching this, hopefully you are, because it's an important thing to do, to lose weight, to stay healthy, to get fit. Um, so that's kind of a it's general gonna depend on what your current diet is too. For instance, if you're trying the ketogenic diet, you're not gonna eat as much protein. Um, you'll probably be having less because you don't wanna be spiking your insulin with protein or taking you out of ketosis with that. So that's a whole other topic. But generally, if you're just kind of eating average diet, working out moderately, you can do kind of around one gram of protein per pound of body weight. So for instance, I'm generally around the 120 range in my weight, right? I typically am probably eating 110 to 130 grams of protein. Um, I try not to go super high with it, just because there are some concerns here and there. There have been some studies that too much protein can be hard on like the kidney and liver and things like that. So that's kind of where I stand. Other calculations will say you can eat much less. I could probably be doing fine on 90 grams of protein a day. So it doesn't have to be an exact number, but generally think about how, what your weight is, and then if you're getting about that many grams in protein per day, and that's a good place to start. And make sure you're getting enough protein after your workout. If you want a little bit more detail on that, you can visit my uh, video that I made on the best protein powders for weight loss. I kind of explain a little bit about how to use them and why that's important to have after a workout. I won't go into detail in this video about that, but do make sure that you're getting in lots of protein before and after your workout to help with muscle recovery, protein synthesis, building muscle, and then enough at every single meal because it's gonna help to keep you full and help to manage your insulin metabolism. Super easy one to start on right away. And if you're not sure, protein, you can easily find plenty of that in eggs, protein shakes, chicken, lean beef, fish, uh, tofu. Generally meat and dairy sources are gonna be your main places to find protein. But you can do things like combining rice and beans to get an adequate amount of protein and amino acids as well. So again, I won't go into all those details in this video, uh, but just wanna let you know that you should be eating enough protein and that will help you to lose weight build muscle and to reach your fitness goals. If you'd like other nutrition advice or want nutrition coaching, please visit my website, renewalfitcoach.com. I write a lot of blogs having to do with nutrition there. I also post a lot on my social media, so please follow me on those channels. Um, or you can email me for customized individual nutrition coaching. And you can find that on my website as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Fit Tip video.